I mean, we don't have to go to Phoenix, you know what I'm saying? So let's just deal with Dormammu that way. And then the Magneto got the Doctor Doom. And I guess we can do the Phoenix one if you guys want. You guys want to do Phoenix? It's hella easy. Alright guys, we're gonna just do Phoenix, okay? Nobody really cares about Phoenix. Alright, vanilla. Yes. Let me just tell you, what you need in order to play Phoenix right, like, not Phoenix right Phoenix, it's just Dark Phoenix or Jean Grey the right way. Let me just tell you guys, okay? First of all, you don't need to have defense, okay? You don't need to have none of that, okay? What you need is to just get the map, right? And when they snap, you can say thank you, okay? Because in this version of- in this version, she cannot be opened up. Because, you can do this all day. Look at that. My, and the homing of the ace fireball is insane. So imagine chasing you in the air. Just think about it. Just think about it. How are you gonna chase this one with a homing fireball? Like, she cannot be chased. Like, she's still broken. And Dark Phoenix is still the same, she's always gonna be a strong one. And her X-Factor don't last, I mean, it lasts quite too long. In this and that's all you need to do. We should suck because... You know, one of the biggest things in Marvel is that if you can... If you can avoid the ground game, right? If a character can avoid the ground game, which is one of the strongest attributes of a player that plays Marvel in general, your how strong your ground game is, and they only but if that player can just only stay in the air forever, right? Then that means most people can play that character because the 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 level of like I mean the the, the skill requirement to play that character at the highest level becomes a lot less. Because when you play in the ground, you have to have very good reaction, your assist calling, counter calling, your ground movement, your placement, where to dash, where not to dash, where to dash up and then dash down back, call it sit, try to here, go back, what final is this, and then try to here, and that's where the actual skill and for, for most flyers actually exist. It's not necessarily only in the air, right? Um, so characters like Phoenix and Vanilla are so spoiled because she doesn't have any, like, fault. I mean, there's just no negative side of staying in the air and throwing this car. Imagine a homing magnetic blast. Right. At, least, at, least, at least Magneto has to pay for it. Like, if you dash, dash towards Magneto and just magnetic blast you get in under, and then you can pay for it, right? Phoenix doesn't have to pay for that. Just once, you can just do this. Boom, you try to follow her. The dive kick. Mind you, the fireball actually holds. Look at that homing capability of the fireball. It's not the same. It's not. They nerfed that. It's the other character. The other, the other aspects of her game was never discovered because of all the other things, all the, because of the few things that was absolutely broken. You never have to discover the other things. You never have to overdrive. You never have to do that. But yeah, she has no limitations. She was like super perfect. Um, there's only one thing in vanilla that's a negative for Phoenix, but everything else is super positive. It's the game mechanic. The game mechanic in vanilla was kind of insane because you cannot X factor in the air. So what happens is there's a few setups like Dormammu, let's say kills the second character, Phoenix comes in, and you can actually do a meaty stalking flare, stalking flare, X factor stalking flare, and you kill the 400 live Phoenix in the air before she even gets before she even gets a chance. X. And then once she, once she, once she turns, once you chip out the actual Jean Grey, and then she turns to Phoenix, there's a frame that you can teleport, that you can avoid the burst, and then she has to take a 50-50 mix-up between where you're gonna teleport with Dormammu. And you can, Dormammu can actually one-shot her in one sequence. So that's what's sick about, it, like that. 
Yeah, right? It's a Dilla Dog thing. That's, all, that's one of the best ways to Oh, yeah. Oh, my man. Congratulations yesterday, dude. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. You play good. You play good, buddy. You play good. I'm proud of you. Um, I'm kind of working hard for that MVP community, dude. You know, you guys have been living with some good games. It's kind of like motivating me to play. But right now, we have to stake my roots and, and make some Marvel 3 stuff. But yeah, this is the difference with Phoenix. Okay, let's do one more. Let's do one more. Who do you guys would like to be talk about? Morgan? Okay, Dark Harmonizer. Okay, this is Morgan. Alright, guys. We're going to camp again. We're going to do Morgan. Okay. What? Why? What's the difference of Morgan in this game? Um, in Vanilla versus. The ultimate version. Let's show you guys play right? of 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 Morrigan and weaknesses in this game. And why she became all of a sudden the best character in the game. So vanilla vanilla Morrigan was actually not as strong. But she's still okay. But she wasn't terrible. But because the game was still new, she was like there was like she was never discovered to be a mid-tier character. She was not low tier, she was mid-tier. She was never high tier, she was never top tier. Okay. So, so plank dashing in general um, existed in vanilla, but she didn't have the way that she, other characters would plank dash. For instance, Magneto would fly, and he could plank dash upward, down, down forward, down back, whatever. All eight directions, right? Oregon does not have to fly, you go up forward. You like that? can't blink that way. Like oh. Only gets one dash. As a like forward, that? she doesn't like have a blink. She does not have a blink. Oh. She, has, she has no blink dash. Like that? She has this though. She has the... Take that this. one. Like the wave dash in here. Okay? What's wrong with my audio? Did we mess up the audio again? I'm gonna fix it. Boom. Okay. Alright. Um, also, that's one thing. And there's there's a lag when you dash and press buttons. It can be instant. There's a big pause. Also, with Morrigan, like, this move that she does, when she does soul fist on fly, soul fist, it's quite slower. So, yeah, I know, I'm sure you guys remember, but in ultimate, she can do this. See? It's very slow. So you have to do... That's the fastest I can do it. Yeah, so, so she's very slow. She doesn't have the S fireball as well. And the damage in the fireball is really yeah, so all her soul kicks are just so slow. She doesn't have the actual movement. She doesn't have the soul fist, I mean the as the, the soul steel bar. Okay. Um obviously she doesn't have a ground dash. She has wave dash, which is kinda of shitty. Um she doesn't have a very fast Dash, dash forward, there's a height restriction where she can dash like like, like Magneto and other characters they can do dash their way. She doesn't have to so dash dash really really like from the almost in the peak of the game. Her soul fish is the main tool has a very high startup. Um, I believe her astral vision is still okay but how slow is that? It's crazy what extra 5 frames can do to you To give somebody a character like an extra less than 5 frames recovery And then give her a new special move and you can actually instantly take that character to in super top tier So this is just the complexity of fighting games in general Like developers should be more aware that what makes a character top tier Can actually be a different thing Top tier and low tier could just be a fat um, Sometimes it could just be one frame. That's just how crazy fighting games are. How sensitive they are. 
So when they change something like, oh, they nerfed the jab from three frames to four frames, that's not necessarily like you, some people would say, oh, it's just a frame. But sometimes one frame actually changes the entire mathematical dynamic of a fighting game. So one frame here, that means he would have an extra frame for like a thousand different scenarios that usually that frame would not exist. That's why one frame sometimes matters so much. Imagine five frames. Like, I, you know, like having a machine gun to in the game. We never had to discover how to do blink dash. We never have to discover like how to blink dash because the move, movement was so good. We never have to do mag blast before. Kind of disruptive. But they nerfed this by like eight frames extra, something like that, for the whole recovery. Then now the community, the my needle players, had to learn how to do power blast. Had to learn how to throw better power blast. Had to move around better. They nerfed the movement this way. We have to learn how to blink dash. We have to learn how to wave dash, you know? This is how we move move before. Look at this. Would you ever have to learn blink dash if you can move like this? We just wave dashing in the air. Look. But if blink dash it's not that good, right? So that's the difference. Alright, let's do something else.